Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 11th of April for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you a broad overview of the key changes and influences but if you would please stay with me I will then dive deep to give you each of the 12 zodiac signs in detail. This week begins with Mercury, the planet of talk and thought that influences communication and distribution and transport moving into the sign of Taurus. This is the second phase of its journey. It's just finished 21 days in Aries, very much to do with initiation. The sign of Taurus is about foundations, values, worth, can be about money. So Mercury here is wanting to see more substance for the things we've been working on in recent weeks. But on Tuesday, Jupiter and Neptune come into an exact conjunction. They came within three degrees into conjunction from the end of March and will continue to be so through to the end of April. Now, because they're both the ruling planets of Pisces and Venus moved into this sign last week where she is exalted, this gives us an opportunity to really embrace the more ephemeral side of life. It's not necessarily to do with what we can see, it's what we can feel, it's our instincts. Now at their best, these two coming together is asking us to find a higher truth. We can see the realities of life in lots of ways, can see how the distorting element of Neptune can be applied to information, Jupiter, especially when it comes to battles of philosophy in a less than constructive way. But we have a choice to embrace this energy in a positive manner. And of course, with Venus having moved there as well, this may be making us nostalgic for past relationships or for people who are no longer with us. Or it could see us thinking very seriously about those relationships which are not working for us and trying to find out what the meaning really is for us and how we might negotiate the situation. Now, because Mars is going to be moving into Pisces on Friday, some would argue because Mars is the ruler of uh, Scorpio that Mars can exist in the sign of Pisces fine. But I feel that the water does tend to dissipate the wateriness, the mutability of Pisces, the uh, intrinsic need for desire and uh, attainment that Mars gives us but it can help us over the following six weeks to think very, very deeply into situations, perhaps working behind the scenes. If you do work in a compassionate sector of healthcare or healing, then Mars moving into this area can be very good. Anything to do with working uh, in a marine sector can also uh, be encouraged by Mars's transit through this area. But on Saturday, we do have the full moon in the sign of relating, aesthetics, presentation, art and fashion, of course, Libra. But on the other side of the heavens, we have the sun in the go get in Aries, which is very much to do with us as individuals. The Libra influence is how we connect to others. But pivoting between the two is the position of Pluto in an exact t-square pretty well and that builds up as the full moon emerges i think some politics around balancing what we need for ourselves and what we're prepared to give or get from others is going to come more sharply into focus but then as the week draws to a close mercury is accelerated forwards and is very close to uranus so that is pushing us to be as inventive and innovative as possible when it comes to how we approach things. But of course the sign of Taurus can resist change and that's been creating quite a lot of stress. So Mercury being there just can make us a bit more agile, flexible and nimble about how we do deal with uh, facing up to the reality that a lot of raw materials and the things we consume have become more expensive. But if you are someone who's entrepreneurial, it's a great opportunity to think outside the box about how you might make the most of a talent and especially through anything that has a digital output or is just very fresh in its approach. It, uh, if you, for example, 
identify a service which no one else is providing, then you can seize the opportunity really quickly. Things happen quickly with Uranus in the mix. So maybe an unexpected conversation or something to do with a financial change can present itself as this week draws to a close. Now, if you are new to my channel, I would be honored if you would subscribe, please click or tap the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to ascend above this Zodiac broadcast and embrace more serious astrology, please see my special offer below where you can get a year's forecast and your character analysis based on your time, date and place of birth. And if you give me those three pieces of information, I can give you so much back to help guide your moves, not just in the next year, but in terms of understanding your deeper potentials and how you can seize those, make the most of them future forwards for many moons. Hello Virgo and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 11th of April. Your ruler Mercury is on the move on Monday, making its way into the sign of Taurus, which of course is within your Earth triplicity. The ninth house is very much linked to travel and Mercury is a planet which can influence travel, uh, especially around ticketing and booking and researching options. The ninth house can also be very much to do with education, but by the end of this week, as Mercury combines with Uranus, that generally is going to give you a lust for freedom and excitement. But of course, the sun's in your eighth house, where your most devoted shared resources and finances. If there's some politics around this area, I think by the end of the week and the full moon, particularly with Pluto in the mix, if you feel that someone is in some way inhibiting you or blocking you from being the free spirit you want to be, it could really get you thinking. And with Mars moving into your seventh house on Friday, even though you have that beautiful alliance between Jupiter and Neptune on Tuesday, which can create some sweet contacts with others, Mars is going to see you being much more assertive about your boundaries. And I think with Mercury combining with Uranus towards the end of this week and the full moon, if there is a situation where you feel that someone's not playing fair, is quite controlling in some ways, that could be what you want to push back upon. But equally, someone may in some way be trying to tease your approach to situations into the open and maybe get you to look at something in a different way too.